Hello friends, welcome to Learn and Share. We are doing problem solving for grades 3 plus and ages 8 to 9. In this video, I will be discussing with you how to solve a word problem using a bar graph. I will also give you the tips to make your own word problem. So let's get started. Problem 13. Kelly recorded her reading and that time for the months January to April. In which month did she study the most? So here is January to April reading and January to April math. Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. Kelly recorded her reading and math time for the months January to April. Here is the data for Kelly's reading and math time. In which month did she study the most? Now we have to find out in which month did she study the most. For solving this, it will be good if we make a graph. So let's do it. Here is my graph. Here at the bottom, I have put the months, and here up and down, I have put all the hours. So reading for January goes till 40. In February, it goes till 20. In March, it goes till 30. And in April, it goes till 40. Let's plot the math time now. In January, it goes till 20. In February, it goes to 60. In March, it goes to 40. And in April again, it goes to 60. Let's add the reading and math time for each month to find out which month she studied the most. So, total study hours in January equals 40 plus 20 equals 60. Total, is, total study hours in February equals 20 plus 60 equals 80. Total study hours in March equals 30 plus 40 equals 70. Total study hours in April equals 40 plus 60 equals 100. So Kelly studied the most in April. Yay, we solved the problem. Coming up is the fun part and that is make your own word problem. Here's a tip. You can collect data about your TV time or exercise time or study time and then make a graph to answer your own questions. Here is mine. I collected 30 steps, stamps in week 1, 40 stamps in week 2, and 25 stamps in week 3. What was the trend of my stamp collection? In this way, you can also make your own word problems and have a lot of fun. For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. Hope you like my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.